shout out, four year old version. What's up? Day one starting and Square Enix just finished. I woke up early to see this one in bed, hence the no shirt. Wow, that was really boring. They didn't show anything new besides the one platinum game and the crossover and then I guess no Dragon Quest we knew about. I mean if if they save the Kingdom Hearts and just just cause things for this reveal and didn't show it and Tomb Raider and didn't show it at Microsoft, maybe that would be uh no, I think that would be hype. Really it was all information we knew. Thirty minutes of just rehash stuff we saw at other conferences. I don't know why no Marvel, no Avengers thing that's crazy. So definitely I think worse than EA's. All right, so here I am at a Panera now. Some other things have been getting announced at E3 are just around it like the Call of Duty Black Ops season pass thing. I don't know, I'm not really getting enough information about that. It seems though like they're just doing DLC like they've been doing, though it doesn't seem like you can buy individual DLC packs, you have to buy the whole uh, season pass, which I don't like at all. I think it's stupid, segmenting the audience, you know, Battlefield clearly has it done better. It really makes no sense why they're going back to this fragmented model, because three years from now, people aren't going to be playing DLC maps in the same rotation, you know? because the majority of people are not gonna have had bought it, but we'll see where that goes. I do like though that at launch is gonna be four map packs and it seems like Classified is going to be a five remake, which would be lit. Yo, on our way to PlayStation media briefing now, me and Rowie recapping Ubisoft's show. Pretty cool actually. I gotta say pretty cool. Assassin's Creed Odyssey looks tight. The Beyond Good and Evil thing, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Division actually has me hype. Free DLC expansions, that's awesome. A player raids, that's crazy. No Splinter Cell, which is kind of whack. Grant Hercope is a pretty cool guy. That was a cool performance. Skull and Bones actually has me kind of interested. PlayStation, next. At the PlayStation E3 media briefing, I don't know how well the hearing is. Um, check it. All that and more. Um, I got a bracelet they gave me. I don't know. You got uh, 40 minutes left till it's happening. He has best friend's shirt. What up? Keep it real next time. Good evening and welcome. If you're just joining us, we ask that you please take one step back from the pews at the front, just so we can have a little bit of space. If everyone could just take one step back from the pews, just to give everybody a little bit of space. We appreciate your cooperation and we're gonna begin shortly. Thank you. And as you can see from this evening, um, here again at PlayStation, we decided to mix it up a little bit. And then enter the next step for the next experience. You have plenty of time. You do not need to push or rush. I just spent 15 minutes on the Wow. Okay. Action. Uh, pulling down from that hot green a little bit. Really tight. Loggers, Count Big Count Boy, the boss. It's coming. It's coming back. Just like New York. This is the demo. What up? Jeffrey is here at the PlayStation Experience Trambazanza, and shit has been crazy. Already spoke to Sean Layden. We talked about what worked, what didn't at the conference. Is that Sean over there? Yeah, it is again. Sean's over there. And um, pretty much talk right there. There he is. Look at him. Zoom in. Zoomed. Talk about what worked, what didn't. Content dictates the presentation. So we had these four world games. We're going to do four worlds. And he's like, you know, all these games are coming out relatively soon. I'm like, oh, with Death Stranding. And we all chuckled. Um, so yeah, we still got no uh, dates on that. Uh, you heard what was happening on the podcast. There's going to be a picture up of me in the New York Video Game Critic Circle with this 
Norman Reedus picture guy. That, you know, here's the picture. Uh, let's see if I can find Shuhei here. No, Shuhei's gone. Um, the line for uh, Spider-Man is getting shorter, so I'm gonna try that out. Waiting on line to play Spider-Man. This game is insane. Just got out of Spider-Man demo uh, right behind me. Very good, very fucking good, amazing game. This game is going to blow minds when it comes out. The traversal is just beyond uh, holding R2 to web sling. You can just literally hold the button and you'll automatically go throughout the entire world. A little confusing, I'm still not quite sure. There's like these reticles on like certain things. I'm not sure what that means because I don't think it's going straight to that thing. Either way, combat's amazing. It's pretty much the demo they showed from Paris Games Week with the crane section and you beat those guys, you beat Fisk guys. I did that, but then there was no, um, there was no cutscene. It was pretty much like, all right, now do another mission. You know, that's like, I defeated all the enemies in the area, kind of like a Far Cry 5 thing. Then I got to traverse the city. Um, once I did that one mission, the, like the first mission it tells you to do. Um, though you don't have to do that in the demo. You can do whatever you want. Um, I set a waypoint to Brooklyn because Brooklyn is on the map and I'm like, oh, let me check it out. And once I get to the Brooklyn Bridge, I'm, I'm web slinging. Uh, it's like, this is locked off from the demo, turn around and it does the turn me around shit. So I couldn't go to Brooklyn, I couldn't see how accurate Brooklyn was, but the city was very accurate. It didn't seem like they had the Freedom Tower, but they did have the Empire State Building, which is very cool. Voice acting was great, cutscenes were beautiful. The game is really just a, so good looking and feels so good to play. The trailer with the Sinister Sticks, Sinister Sticks really had me hyped. So we'll see how that plays out. Shout out to all the cool people I met so far. Destin Legary, Brendan Jones, Scott Road, Evan Wells, Neil Druckmann, Sean Layden. I said hi to USP, he gave me a head nod. Uh, USP, of course, being Shuhei, I don't know, I said his, his uh, Twitter. Cheapy D, saw him with Shipwreck, great guys. I saw Eves Gilmore talking to Sean Layden about hacks. Hacks 2018, be there, be square, bring your best keyboard, day one is near conclusion. What's up, just talked to two people from MLB The Show, Sony San Diego, um, a great development studio. Was telling them all about Slugfest and how much I love that game and how MLB The Show's retro mode is pretty cool and I enjoy that. But he was like, what about Slugfest do you like? Would you rather get a home run in the show or a line drive in Slugfest on fire? And I'm like, dude, being on fire, punching the first baseman, where it's at, he's like, all right, all right, I'll take that. I'll take that down, like, like mentally. If you motherfuckers see flames or punching in the next show, and will be the show, that is me right there, influential game influencer. There you have it, PlayStation conference, greatness awaits, PlayStation water, it's all you need. Got to see some legends, Nate Fox of Sucker Punch, worked on Infamous Second Son, Justin Massengale I caught at the end. A lot of great motherfuckers out here at PlayStation's event. I'm calling it for the night. Tomorrow we have Nintendo. And keep it real, keep it locked, PS Best Friends. Check out our podcast recapping. I'm in the beginning of that, uh, showing off my first interaction with Shuhei and all other cool shit. Uh, gotta go, peace my loves.